Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So tonight we're going to be having a look at an absolutely gorgeous fixed blade from QSP. This is the Bison. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase your own Bison, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, let me get you a size reference here so you get a better idea for what it's going to feel like in your hand. So here's a large permanent marker. Okay. I'll turn it sideways, and then what I want to do is pick it up and turn it around to show you the size comparisons here. So if you can imagine holding on to a permanent marker, right? Of course not as round, but roughly about the same size there. And for the people that want an actual measurement, let me try to square this up here. So that's about right there. Overall length coming in at just about 9 inches. If you look at the blade length from this point to right about the middle of the sharpening choil, about 4.5 inches. And then from the middle of the sharpening choil to the ending of the knife, about 4.5 inches. So very well proportioned and it feels really balanced in the hand. And if you're looking for a practical size reference, the blade length is right around five quarters long and the handle is about four quarters long. Just to give you an idea. Let's have a look at the top of the bison here so I can give you an idea for how wide the grip is. Uh, we'll check it out right over here where the palm swells pop out. Now normally larger EDC folding knives are the same width as a pair of chopsticks on the thick side. There's the thinner side. So just to give you an idea for how wide that grip is, you can see it's a lot wider than that. Let's get a measurement from the palm swell area. So over half an inch. And then on the thinner portion, just about half an inch. Chunky. Speaking of chunky, let me give you an idea for just how much steel is in this full tang. And that's what you want to see in a fixed blade. So here's a single quarter, just to put it in reference. Way thicker than that. And I guarantee you guys, it's going to be at least three quarters thick. That right there is a chonker. This has got to be close to a quarter of an inch. Ah, uh, not bad. About three sixteenths, I mean, but it's close, guys. That is a thick, thick tang. All right, let me get you a weight reference. Bison coming in, overall weight at 7.2 ounces. And again, just to give you a feel for how heavy it's going to feel in your hand, here is a 16-ounce bottle of water. Filled up about a third, and that is the same weight. Let's have a look at this beautiful clip point blade. It's one of my favorite blade shapes. I love how fierce this thing looks. Beautiful swedge up front. Basically a smaller Bowie knife. Got some jimping up here on the thumb ramp. You see just how thick this bar stock is. It's a better look at the jimping. Look at that, it just goes so thick into the tang. And that's what you want in an outdoor bushcrafting knife. You can take a beating. Speaking of being beat, D2 steel, it's tool steel, it's tough, superior edge retention and wear resistance, great corrosion resistance, with a nice satin finish on here, flat grind, right, no curvature on there, making it very easy to sharpen, you just find your angle, pull across, nice sharpening choil, this makes it very easy to sharpen the edge all the way to the rear of the blade. Let's have a look at the grip design. All right, pretty neutral grip on here. Small palm swell here, but you can run your fingers anywhere on here. Small finger stop in the front for safety. All right, small hole in the back here for a lanyard. Beautiful black micarta. Have a look at that, guys. Now, they do have a blue denim and an OD green, but micarta is just one of them premium grips that even when it gets wet, is tacky. Got palm swells here on the side that help fill up the hand. And I like the fact that they went with these recessed torque screws instead of regular set pins. Gives it a nice touch. See, just totally recessed there into the grip. It's a beautiful grip. My Carta, whew, always beautiful. And the last thing I want to talk about is this ridiculously high quality Kydex sheath that comes with the Bison. If you're wondering about the retention, don't worry about it. That is going absolutely nowhere. 
All right, now that we've got the retention issue out of the way, let me explain exactly what we're looking at here because I wish all fixed bladed knives came with a kydex sheath like this. So many options and so many different ways that you can carry this. So the first thing is this belt loop adapter and then the sheath itself and then the tech lock that we got back here, which is an awesome lock to have. So what we have here is the belt loop adapter and the sheath that's sitting in there like this. It's kind of tacoed in here. Okay, you can see that here. So there's the sheath and there's the adapter that's around it. So if you didn't want to use the belt loop, what you would do is just undo these screws and then take the sheath and put this tech lock on it and then you could use it that way. And this way, you could either mount it like this on your belt or you can swivel it horizontally like this without using the belt loop. This tech lock is going to enable you to put this on anything. You can put it on a strap, on a bag, whatever. This is a push button one, so you're just going to slide the lock to the side push it open, and then you're going to use these things to adjust to the size of whatever strap you're going to run through it. Then if you wanted to use the belt loop, of course, you would just thread this through your belt, and then you would need another strap like this to keep it down to your thigh. Now, this is a little bit high, but you can always take this and move it down to the next hole here, and you can strap this down to your thigh. So this is an awesome sheath. Once again, guys, this has been the Bison by QSP. If you're looking for a great outdoor bushcrafting knife, this might be the one for you. It's got awesome D2 steel, high-quality micarta grips, and the sheath that comes with it is unbelievable. Well, all right, guys, this is the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase a Bison, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.